Hello, this is Paul Check. Welcome back to my video blog. Today I, th I thought I'd show you a nice, simple gym exercise you can do, especially if you're pressed for time and you need to get a lot done quickly, which is often me. And this is the dead row. So it's a combination of a deadlift and a row. In my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, I show you a different version of it using a cable system or a stretch cord. Today I thought I'd show you how to do it with a barbell. So the first thing is you use good deadlift technique. So you want to make sure that when you get on the bar, now I'm going to use a conventional deadlift style, not a sumo style today, um, just because it's easier to row with. You can try both. This is the sumo style. If you're going to row, you're going to need a double overhand grip, so both hands down. So I'll show you both. You're going to inhale, activate your core, stand up, Go down for one more deadlift, come up, bend forward, row. Okay, now you want to make sure that when you're doing it, you're not letting your spine round or as you're pulling, you're not rounding your back. Because you need to use a weight light enough to row, normally you should be able to breathe with the movement and just allow your breath and the movement cycle to time itself. Remember, whenever you're coming out of the fetal position, so if we start here, if you're coming out of the fetal position, you should be breathing in. If you're moving toward the fetal position, you should be moving out. That's a, just a general rule. There are adaptations at higher intensities of weightlifting, but we don't have time to get into all that today. So looking at it again from a standard uh, style deadlift or conventional we want to make sure our hands are wide enough for a comfortable row so about where you would row the bar so we're going to inhale activate our core by drawing our belly button in think of pushing the earth away from you not lifting the weight push the earth away stand up so I've, now I'm going to exhale on the way down through pursed lips to keep tension in the core Inhale, activate the core. Now bend over till the bar just passes your knees. Inhale, row, exhale, inhale, exhale. And while you're doing this, your feet should be balanced between the balls of the feet and the heel. You shouldn't be pulled forward. Okay, then you set the bar down, do another deadlift. Just past the knees and just pull the bar to where it naturally comes to your body. And that's the dead row. Now, you could do two and two, four and four, six and six. In other words, six deadlifts, six rows. Play with it, whatever feels good, whatever you're trying to accomplish. If you want to go deeper into the muscle, or the muscle group, more reps per portion. In other words, six reps will take you deeper into the deadlift than two or four. Six reps will take you deeper into the row than two or four. So again, remember, you're not gonna be going that heavy because you have gotta be able to row the weight. So in, if you have a healthy core and you're not inflamed and you can pass the core function test in my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, or my DVD course, Scientific Core Conditioning, then you're probably very safe to just breathe with it. Remember, on the way down, you're exhaling through pursed lips. That keeps the core active. If you just pretend you're shooting a dart through a straw, or you could go and you'll feel your core fire. So a little pressure. Then on the way back up, inhale, activate your core, stand up. If you're strong enough and you feel safe, you can just Inhale as you stand up and keep a little background tone, but be careful not to hold so much tension that you can't expand your belly as you breathe. You can put a little background tension, and as you stand up, you can still expand your belly, but I'm holding a little background tension in there, which takes a little practice to do. I show you how to develop yourself 
correct your problems in more detail in scientific core conditioning, how to eat, move, and be healthy, and my golf biomechanics manual and our tennis biomechanics manual all have uh, some detailed instruction too, but scientific core conditioning is for those of you that want to really straighten yourself out and have optimal performance. So enjoy the dead row. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Paul Check. See you soon.